Back again, guys. Hope you have an amazing day, evening, night, whatever time you're watching this video. It is bright and hot as fuck out here in the lovely state of Florida. Quick little project at 240. I am converting my OEM taillights to clear. Uh, I know Lumisthetic sells a whole little kit. Uh, it's like 500 bucks. Um, I'm aiming to do this under 50. Um, well, it depends on if I, I went and bought a spare set of taillights just to get that fuck up. Um, but so far, so good. Um, the hardest part was getting the plastics out of the taillight housing. I was paying me a dick. But I'm going to tell you what you need to do. And uh, I'm going to show you my stock taillights and then my little project that I got going on. So here's the stocks. This is original to the car. That one's original to the car. This is my newer one that I bought. I bought a set for 50 bucks. The rest of them are over here. They're super, super fucking clean. Um, so, yeah. And then up here, this is what I'm gonna use for the overlay. I'm not gonna use the, the red and the yellow. That's gonna be, all be clear. Now, Loom Aesthetic, they have like the textures inside, but if you don't care about the textures inside, this is the way to do it. This was 15 bucks, like I said, other set of taillights were 50 so technically I'm into it you know 65 bucks so far and uh so when I took off the red and yellow plastics out of the oven um there's like a, a silver film on the back side of the housing on the inside and it was coming off so I'm like what the fuck um you could literally spray brake cleaner and it would it would just come right off. So I cleaned all that off, sanded it with uh, some 400 grit. I'm actually in the process of painting it right now with Rust-Oleum metallic finish, and it's uh, chrome. Uh, part number. There's no fucking part number on here. Um, I just bought it at AutoZone. It was like 13 bucks. So what I'm at? 78 so far. Um, I already had sandpaper. So yeah, let me flip the camera out and show you what it looks like. It looks fucking good. So I wasn't worried about getting overspray on the black parts. I'm just going to take some sandpaper and sand it down. Um, and then when I put it all back together, it'll look nice. Um, but it actually has these. When you go to take them apart, don't break these. These are diffusers. So they basically take the direct light and they diffuse it from the taillights. Um, I don't think they sell aftermarket ones of these. So be very, very, very careful. I completely destroyed the red and yellow plastics on that one tail that I took apart. Um, but in order to take those off, you have to take, put them in your oven. I found that's the easiest way to do it because I tried with a little torch, a little butane torch and I actually burnt the plastic. I mean, it doesn't pr provide the best heat. Um, the torches like to get heat in like one general spot, whereas the oven gets all around. And it has some super sticky shit. So what you do, set your oven to uh, 350 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. I watched a video, um, some Australian chick, she was doing like the 180 degrees Celsius, 220 degrees Celsius, like what the fuck? So I had to convert it. So I found that 350 Fahrenheit works best. Pop it in there for maybe 10, 15 minutes. Um, I used Walder's gloves because I didn't want to burn shit on my hands and I just used uh, flatheads. I got in there and I pried it up and once I was able to see it move a little bit, I knew that I was going in the right direction, so. So once I got that off, got those little things out, little plastic diffusers, and then, uh, yeah. I'm going to let that silver stuff dry and then I gotta find a car piece of cardboard big enough to make a template um, to put over that. Because I'm going to keep that little single strip that goes across the whole entire tail light. I know some people just completely delete it. I'm not going to do that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to drive this thing today. I'm going to do some data logging on that HP tuner, see where I'm at. Because I fucked up the tune. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys. For me, it'll probably be another day or two, but for you, it'll be just a second. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Update on the tail lights it's been a few days obviously um 
I got one done, I'm working on the other side, and then I got the center garnish all apart that came off in one piece. That was great. So this is actually a 240 emblem in here is raised. So what I'm thinking about doing is taking a piece of paper and stenciling a piece of paper onto the back of it and transferring it into here and using a Dremel to cut down this dimple. That way it makes it smooth and then um, trace a Sharpie, uh, like a black Sharpie or use paint and uh, paint, paint it how it looks with all the lines and stuff like that. So I think that'll work just nicely. And then I was gonna cut these out, but I'm not going to, I'm just gonna resurface them and then cut the holes in that piece right there. Um, I gotta do it diagonally, but that's gonna work out just fine. So here's the other headlight, or tail light, I'm sorry. The other tail light housing. This is the bottom piece down here I just got done. Um, cut it out, of course, it needs some some minor adjustments, but overall, just use sandpaper, 180 grit, that takes care of it. I got my templates now that take care of everything. This piece is done, That's that'll fit in there just like so. And then you gotta, I gotta clean these diffusers. Um, YouTube don't monetize me for that. I'm sorry, I'll let that slip. <laughs> so yeah, anyway. So the diffuser goes under here. Set this, I epoxy it back in there. Sits in there like that and then I epoxy clear to there. So yeah, I'm show you the actual finished one and give you the light test. Okay, so that one's still stock. And then here's the finished product. That is put together, sealed. I ran a bead of silicone all the way around. Um, yeah, it looks, I'm going to go through and paint all this black with a paintbrush. Um, that way it looks better, but yeah, I am super, super happy. And I used, um, I got LED, red LEDs in here. Super, super bright. Okay. So here's the stock tail light with stock filament bulbs, the regular old bullshits. And then here's the clear tail light. Whoa. It's doing some crazy stuff with my camera, but yeah. Looks so much better. Look at that. Looks so good. And that center garnish is just gonna put it all together. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep on. Sorry about that. I'm gonna keep on keeping on with this stuff. Get the center garnish done. And then, uh, yeah, I'm using a razor blade to score the plastic and using a pair of uh, channel locks to break it. Uh, that way I don't cut myself and it makes a, a cleaner break. That way I don't have to sand as much because the first set, that set that is on the car right now, that is all hand sanded 110%. And then once I got those done, it was dark as fuck out. Once I got that done, I could transfer it on a piece of cardboard to make um, templates, so. Yeah, um, it's probably going to be another few days before I get back to you guys because that's probably going to take the longest is what it is. The finished product's going to be great though. Fucking clear tail lights for 100 bucks. Can't beat it. That's including the tail light price that I paid. All right, I will see you guys in a second. Well, that was in fact not a second. Um... Yeah, so time got away from me. Obviously. I recorded that last bit in June, June 25th, and then it's October 28th. Uh, it's been a while. Got busy, busy, busy. But I got done, finished it, finally. So, so there's the finished product of the centerpiece. Um, I'm not going to bother filling in the sides like I did right here because it's, I mean, there's really no point I didn't I chose not to cut a circle in this for the trunk um, release right here because I'm not running one I'm gonna reroute it inside and do it that way so yeah I'm uh, let me throw this 
me throw this on there and uh, show you what it looks like all tightened down. All right, there we go. That's the finished product. She is all set and ready to go. Let me flip on the lights, that way you can get the full effect. So yeah, there we go. I might do reverse lights in the future, uh, but I am gonna put turn signals down here. I got, I gotta make a harness for it. But yeah, I'm happy. So I have a stock set. Stock set, set of clears that I made and a set of these. Brand new in the box. My babies. So yeah, I do have three sets of taillights. I have clear, stock, and kooky. Um, I got everything for the kookies, finally, except for my RPS 13 cover, which hopefully, um, if someone buys the rest of that half cut, I can purchase. That way it's done. Because I found the metal garnish for underneath. They're $144 shipped to my house. If you go on eBay, it's like $350. Um, and I'm just running a cheap $35 eBay uh, center centerpiece, and I'm gonna get the RPS 13 that just fits right over it. And I think I paid, I think it was like 430 for the the tail lights. Um, I still need to get the conversion harness, but I am working on getting this brace for the front bumper done. Uh, make another video on that that I'm just finishing this one up uh, it is tagged registered and insured and she's uh she's roadworthy now just gotta I might need to rebuild my rack and pinion so I'll make another video on that but uh yeah finally getting this video done hope you guys enjoyed uh, it's pretty easy I mean I'll try to link part numbers or whatever the little things for the light fixture uh, down in the description and then I just used the E9000 epoxy and clear RTV just one around the outsides so all right y'all stay tuned for the next one it's uh it's gonna be coming out hopefully soon I should have this done this weekend uh yeah all right I'll catch you on the flip side like share subscribe comment um if you don't like it don't like it but leave a comment tell me what i can improve on i'll catch you on the next one and i'm doing blinkers too all right guys peace out